What is up everybody, Ben Johnson here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at how to change that backdrop into this, 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 and really whatever other color you want. Let's take a look. All right, welcome back to the channel. As mentioned before, my name is Ben Johnson and I am a content creator based here in Atlanta. My goal with this channel is to be a resource to creatives through reviews, tutorials, behind the scenes content, and honest podcasts. So if any of that interests you, I'd love for you to subscribe and join the creative crew. It really goes a long way towards supporting this channel and it makes sure that you never miss out. All right, so let's talk about backdrops. One of the most handy and nifty tools that a content creator can have in their studio is a backdrop. They can be a very good way to give you a solid background for products and interviews and all sorts of things. Most of the time, people have a bunch of different backdrops, all of different colors. While this is really cool, it can also be a little expensive and also a little annoying to have to switch out the backdrops every single time you wanna get a new color. However, today I'm gonna to show you how to use one backdrop and get a ton of different colors. Here is what we are gonna need. The wall mount system is awesome because you can actually keep the backdrop up when you're not wanting to use it and only bring it down when you want to. This is awesome because aside from just getting it out of the way, it actually allows one wall to have two looks. You can decorate the actual wall with some flatter things like this flag here or these dry erase boards so that you can use it regularly. But when you wanna roll down the backdrop, there's nothing in the way. So here is the installation process. The first thing you'll need to do is attach the wall mount system to your wall. Then you can hook up the paper. However, if you are purchasing a larger roll like this 107 inch one that I have here, you'll need to take an extra step. Basically, you're going to need to transfer the paper from the cardboard tube to a two inch aluminum conduit tube. You can pick one of these up at your local hardware store. The reason we need to do this on the longer backdrops is because of the weight. Over time, the backdrop will begin to sag in the middle and it will create a crease that will run right down the center of your paper and you definitely don't want that. So by transferring the paper, we're getting rid of this issue and it's gonna not bend or crease at all over time. Once we've got the backdrop installed, we can start using it. So, this is where our RGB lights are gonna come in. We specifically got this backdrop color for a reason. It's very color absorbent, which means it's gonna pick up whatever color we throw at it. These lights are awesome, by the way, because they're battery powered, which means you can take them pretty much anywhere you want. And on top of that, you can do whatever color you want with them. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this onto a light stand and shine it at our background. To add to the color even more, we're actually gonna turn off the room lights. This already looks pretty awesome, but we're gonna go ahead and reframe the shot so that just the background is showing. Let's take a look. So now that we're reframed, let's take a look at a few different color options. Aside from just doing individual colors, we can also get creative and start mixing some colors as well. This type of setup is great for more than just doing these talking head shots. It's also great for doing product shots as well as creating thumbnails. Man, it is so crazy that all of these looks are being achieved with just one backdrop. All in all, this is a super useful tool for content creators. All right, everybody, that is going to about wrap up this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it and found some value from it. Let me know your favorite color in the comments below. And before you guys leave, make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay creative. <laughs>